Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you made it to another episode of what I'm doing here. Uh, today we're going to be uh, reviewing a, uh, a very old title. Uh, we're going to be reviewing Moon Sweeper for the Atari 2600. Uh, <laughs> this, is a, this game has a special place in my heart. Uh, I always liked playing it when I was a child. I think the reason I liked it the most is because for the time, I think the graphics are amazing. Now, just to give you guys a little history lesson, the, uh, the Atari 2600 came out in 1977. That makes it 40 years old. I'm not even that old. I know some of you might think I am, but no, I'm not that old. Uh, this particular title, uh, released by uh, Emagic Software, or whatever publishing company it happened to be, uh, this game came out in 1983. When I was young, probably about six or seven, I'm not really sure, five, you know, back in those days, you know, your memory's not so good, and even, I can't even remember, ten years ago, five years ago, or, oh, hell, last year. But anyway, uh, we had the 2600 Atari. Uh, it looks something like this. Yeah, that's pretty old. Look at that awesome wood grain. I mean, how do you beat that? You can't. <laughs> Classic, right? Uh, when I played this game just recently, I played it on the uh, Atari 2600 Junior. Uh, much less money, but uh, when that machine came out, this one, uh, when it came out in 1977, it was, it, the release price was $199. Now, in today's money, that's like $785 for this lump of crap that had, you know, 1.9 megahertz of processing power. That's pretty bad. Uh, you know, your, your phone, your smartphone, miles, miles, miles better than that. So uh, I just want to hopefully get you guys to appreciate why I'm reviewing this game. And uh, to play the game, we use this awesome joystick. joystick. The joystick has one button and a little joystick. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a DB9. Nine pin connector. I don't even think there's nine function on this thing. But nonetheless, this was it. So the reason why I wanted to do this review was because, like I said, this game has, for the time, some amazing graphics. Uh, compared to some of the other games that are out there, which were crap, Atari did one thing that was pretty interesting for the time, was they basically licensed out to third parties, so anybody could make games for their console. And some really were okay, some were really bad, and some were in the middle. And a lot of those things, I think, fell in the middle. Uh, I do have some favorites here and there. Maybe I'll show them to you guys at some point. But for now, we're just going to talk about this one. And the reason this stands out to me as a child, or even now, I think it stands up, is the, the way that the, uh, the 3D graphics, well, simulated 3D graphics, you know, you get that scrolling action of real movement, I think. And you're able to control your speed with the little joystick. Up, down, faster, slower. And... That really was appealing to me. Uh, the fact that it really kind of give you a little bit of immersion. Not those flat games that were, eep, 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 eep. you know, I mean, some of those can be fun, two player and things like that, but this one seemed to nail it right on. And although the mechanics aren't really that intrinsic, uh, you know, side to side, you know, the, 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 the depth of field was, seemed to be apparent. You know, you could shoot the little guys way up high. You could swerve back and forth. And the objective was to collect the little guys. And you could go onto the planets, search around, avoid bad guys. And eventually, once you collected enough guys, uh, it revealed like this portal kind of thing. And you'd have to hit so many of them, and it would launch you back out into space. One of the things that's kind of weak for really all Atari games was there was never really a progression of the story or the game. You just basically accumulated points. And it was great back then. High score, beat this, beat that. But by today's standards, of course, it's just absolute garbage. There was really no end. You just get that high score, high score, and hopefully you'd be better than anybody else. Now, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm definitely not the best gamer. Everybody will tell you that. I do like to have fun. Certain games, it's that immersion, I think, that kind of brings it together. The doo, 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 doo. I know that's kind of lame and stuff, but... <laughs> 
really, my thoughts on this is it's a good overall package. And as a child, I mean, I just love this thing. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd like to make a lot more like this. Ideally, they'll get better in quality. Uh, there's only so much I can do, so much I can think of. My production team is, uh, oh, let me think, non-existent. So uh, <laughs> uh, I really like having, I really enjoy doing this stuff. I have fun, and I hope you have fun too. Thank, thanks again for watching.